Okay, well, I just ran everything again. All calculations are up to date, taking into account standard delays for communication and response time. Our window looks good. I agree. Well, you should. I'm sure you'd make the same calculations I did, just, you know, more slowly. Arrogance is a rather unbecoming trait, Alpha. Are you seriously giving me a lecture on arrogance right now? <laughs> Heads up, you got a visitor. Director? Log off. Yeah, yeah, way ahead of you. Yes, Agent Carolina. The team is ready, sir. Excellent. Let us begin. Agents, your mission today is by far the most important you have undertaken to date. As our number one, Carolina will be leading from the field. Okay, here's what we have. As you may have heard, there is suspected insurrection activity in this area. Our intel says that members of the UNSC loyal to the insurrection have acquired a high-level asset and are holding it in this secure location. It's a 110-story building in the middle of an urban environment. What does security look like? They have enough troops to fill a 110-story building. So, that's a lot of security. We're up to it. Our job is to infiltrate the building, work our way up to the floor where the sarcophagus is being held, and secure it. The sarcophagus? That is what we are calling the primary objective. But since this is a high-level asset, we need to access a key code to open the sarcophagus. I'm guessing they don't keep that just taped to the side. It's held by an official of the program who will be moving in a vehicle along the freeway between inspections. That's when we'll hit the facility. We need to acquire both targets within minutes of each other. If we fail that, the remaining target will enter lockdown and we miss our window. We will not have another chance at this. So that means two teams. Two teams. Team A will consist of me, Wash, and Maine. We will work infiltration on the package's storage facility. York is still in the infirmary, so Wash, you will have to pull lockpicking duty. Um, okay. Guess I'll reread my field manual in the transport. Hey, don't be so quick to give away my job. York? I thought you were in the hospital. According to their records, I am. How's your eye? It's okay. Docs are letting me out tomorrow. Tomorrow, huh? Look, I couldn't let you guys have all the fun without me. Besides, you need someone to get you in. Listen, I'm happy to see him too, but this mission, I don't know... Hey, if York says he's good, then he's good. It's your call, boss. You're good, right? Okay, look, I said I was okay. Good might be overselling it a little. It's settled then. York will join Team A and get them in the facility. Thank you, sir. Transport will be two lightly equipped Pelican dropships. We're rigged for fast running only people, no heavy armaments. Team B will be North, Wyoming, and CT. You will act as recon for Team A, and once we enter the building, you will disengage to attack the target on the freeway. North will lead Team B. Got it. What about Agent South? Agent South will not be accompanying you on this mission. Hmm. I guess the world's a tough place when you move down a rank. And where's our new recruit? Will she be joining us? That's enough questions, Connecticut. Notice he didn't say no. Team B should be simple. Stop the vehicle and grab the case. Team A, you have more of a challenge. Mainly, the sarcophagus is an unknown. How unknown are we talking? Unknown in that we don't know its size or its weight or its dimension. We just know it will have these markings somewhere on the exterior. I saw those same markings on the oil platform. Correct. That facility created the primary objective. Do we know what's inside it? Yes, we know. How do we know what's in it, but not know how big it is? Sorry, sir. We have a job to do, people. Let's do it right and come home safe. That is all. You are dismissed. Yes, yes sir. sir.